Hey, Strategy Simplified, it's j here. And I'm quickly popping in to tell you about Strategy Sprint. Strategy Sprint is a week-long virtual consulting project that allows you to add US-based work experience to your resume. So you work in a small team, you get mentored by a former McKinsey, Bain, or BCG consultant, and you solve a strategic growth issue for a real-world client. So that means you gain incredible skills and experience that looks amazing on your resume. We are running several sprint projects throughout this year. Check out the dates and the link to register at the link in this episode's show notes. We look forward to welcoming you to a future strategy sprint project. What are the three biggest case prep mistakes that candidates make? I'm Naman from Management Consulted, and since 2008, we've helped over 15,000 candidates land offers at over 170 different firms. Let me tell you, we have seen dozens and dozens of mistakes repeated time and time again by well-meaning candidates. Today, I'm here to talk to you about the top three mistakes that candidates make and how you can avoid their fate. First, candidates wait too long to start their prep. Specifically, they wait until they have an interview invite to start preparing for that interview. Ideally, if you're targeting a role in consulting and will need to prepare for a case interview, you will start preparing for the case interview simultaneously as you're preparing your resume, your cover letter, and starting to network. Often, once you've received an invite to interview, you have at most one to four weeks to prepare for that case interview. Unless you are walking into the case interview with prior case experience or some kind of incredible subject matter expertise, maybe you're a professional communicator, you have a background in finance or something similar, you are going to need more than the one to four weeks between interview invite and actual interview to prepare effectively. Second, even for candidates who start their prep on time, they often go in the wrong order of what they should be doing to optimize the prep time that they have. Specifically, they start their prep by reading books. Now, there are a lot of great case prep books out on the market. We've written our own and we're friends with almost everybody else who's written one as well. They contain valuable content and valuable exercises to help you prepare for the case interview. I have no qualms with using books to prepare. My issue, is with starting prep by reading. The case interview is a really unique test. It requires you to talk, think, and listen simultaneously. And when you start your prep by reading, what you often can do is fall into a false sense of security. You read 300 pages of an incredible book, and intellectually, you understand what you're supposed to do inside of a case. But because you haven't mimicked what you actually have to do in the interview, the talking, the thinking, the writing, the listening, all at once, you're not as prepared as you think. You may intellectually grasp what you're supposed to do, but you have no experiential knowledge. And this is the mistake that many candidates make. They spend so much time reading before they start the actual practice that by the time they get into mock casing, they don't have enough time to fill all of their gap areas. So when should you use books? You should use books towards the end of your prep process, once you've already gotten insight and feedback from experts as to where your gap areas lie. And you can use specific chapters, specific books, or specific exercises to fill those gap areas. In short, books should be used as a scalpel to address really specific problem areas that you have inside of your case performance. Do you have confirmed case interviews and need to get ready fast? then look no further than our free case prep plan. There's a link in this episode's show notes to download it. Like I said, it's free. It's a step-by-step plan that walks you through the A to Z of case interview prep. So each day, you know exactly what you need to be focusing on to get ready for that case interview. This is the exact plan that we use when we're coaching our clients through our black belt and our super prep programs. And we know that it works. Again, this case prep plan is free. Link in the show notes to download it today. Third and finally, the biggest case prep mistake that we see candidates make is that they go it alone. Now, if you're interested in consulting, 
You're probably an incredibly smart individual, driven, maybe even a type A personality. You're used to being able to figure things out alone. And that might be even how you're incentivized to work when you were in school or on the job. But case interviews are a different beast. Because you have to talk, think, and write at the same time, and because a case interview is a conversation that you're having with your interviewer, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to prepare alone. You need others to walk the journey with you. Now, those others can be peers at your educational institution. They can be career counselors. They can be friends who have gone down the consulting path before you, or it can be an expert coach. But you need feedback. You need someone to tell you where your blind spots are. It's impossible, by definition, to identify your own blind spots. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a blind spot. And so you need an expert, someone who's navigated the process before, someone who's coached others to navigate the process, and someone who knows exactly what interviewers are looking for to direct you in the right way and to help you focus on the right things at the right time so that you optimize your prep. Near the beginning of your prep process, you're in luck because you're gonna be able to avoid some of the biggest mistakes that we've seen thousands of candidates make over the last 15 plus years. And if you haven't yet secured a consulting interview, then the time to start preparing for that interview is now. Ideally, you'll do some mental math, a required skill inside of case interviews, to determine when the proper time is for you to begin. You should work backwards. Whenever you expect to interview, subtract 12 weeks from that approximate date, and that's when you should start your preparation. If you want someone to hold your hand through this journey and want expert help, guidance, and feedback, work with Management Consultant today through our Black Belt program. You can learn more through the link in the description. Best of luck in your case prep journey.